please click like and subscribe and that little notification bell for the next episode. Where'd you all get your kicks on Route 66? <laughs> you kind of do it appreciating each other, I guess. <laughs> There, there actually had been two bars here until last year, and I think they're both closed now. One of them was called a, a Six Shooter Siding, which was something they'd kept ever since the Western days, I think. And that was the place. original name of Tucum Carry was Six <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it was. Right. The town the was original called name Six Shooter Siding. Shooter. I'd forgotten that. Really? But there was a bar called that, and it's right near Alco on 66 West. So yeah, this, this bar, does it still exist? Yeah. The, the building building's does. there. It's just as you get to the Alco parking lot on the north side of 66. I don't even know if the signs are still there. I think it is. But it was called Six Shooter Siding, and I, that, that's still there. It's a closed it. bar now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and there's some bars in Tucumcari anymore? The Powwow has a club, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah they still it's got It's the only place you can drink. There used to be 48 bars in Tucumcari. That's uh, right. There's that's a, how big it used to be. <laughs> 48 bars in Oh, it's not yeah. like this mile. I thought it might be what two miles long. There was yeah. a bar on there. Oh, really out of two <laughs> there yeah. were forty-eight. Bars. Well, just like service stations, you know. Yeah, in, in right. the heyday, it, it, <laughs> there was service yeah. station on every corner. Well, we're gonna have to run. Gonna have to run. I'm getting my uh, yep. I'm getting my time. Got to saddle up. Well, I want to thank you very much for showing us your shop and and explaining yes, to us what's going on in your lot here. It's always a pleasure to speak to a group of people like we did at the Mother Road Garage. But it was time to go to our next destination. We headed back to town to visit the TP Curio Shop. The building was built in 1946 and serves Route 66 tourism. Okay, we're at the Curios, TP Curios here in Tucum Perry. Gonna go inside. That's beautiful. More of those dolls. Uh, Kachina. Kachina. Yeah, they come in all different sizes and shapes and colors. You know. mm -hmm. Early days, the Indians didn't have written language, and at gatherings, the different Indians would dress up as these characters, and they would literally tell the stories. And of course, those stories were passed on from generation to generation. There's, you know, the good, the bad, the evil. There's ogres and bears and ghost dancers and fertility symbols and stuff like that. And that's how they passed on their history from generation to generation. I had a lot of fun shopping at the TP Curio Shop. Now Tucum Curry is another Route 66 town that is full of beautiful murals. And do you know who painted them? Doug did. The Pearl Art Gallery. Okay, we were with Doug and Sharon. Uh, Doug, you're an artist and you're an artist as well. I am. And so these two artists, they are uh, do all these beautiful pieces of art you see around us, and they're also mural makers. Uh, I did a mural uh, for a uh, motel safari down the road down here, a good friend of ours, and um, he wanted that uh, flexible clipper uh, bus, which is an old, early-style bus, and the wall that he wanted to put it on is, was a trick. It, every other brick was trudging out about six inches, and um, I really didn't want to paint them very much because just, they're just hard to do like that and the wall was half covered with them things. I didn't paint them at first, and we started looking at it from the road, and it's just, they stuck out like a sore thumb. So I had to go back and paint them again, but it, it was well worth it because everybody remarks on how when you get back at a certain point on that road, you just lose those br bricks that's sticking out uh, because they just blend right into the background. Doug's talent is his speed. He has got that gift. As he's painting, he can see the corrections or the needed items to go in there. And he can paint at quite a speed. You'd think it would take us a month. He can do that within a week and have the detail to that degree. Bill Curry is a local artist, giving Doug some information about the greens here to mix yellow with black until he got that green tonal value that he wanted instead of using a hooker's green. Well, I want to thank both of you for showing us your art and thank your you. crafts and, uh, and, and you're definitely two very talented people and I'm very proud to have met you. Thank you. Thank you. I could have hung out with Sharon and Doug all day looking at their beautiful artwork and talking shop. But it was time to visit Tucum Carey's Historical Museum and the people who ran it. 
We're at the Tucumcari Historical Museum, and we're talking to Dwayne, Joy, and Linda. I'm Linda's sure. going to tell me the history, <laughs> and Joy's going to tell me the fire truck. Yes. And what are you going to tell us, Dwayne? I'm Dwayne Moore, president of the Tucumcari Historical Research Institute. Uh, we own all the artifacts in this museum except for what is on loan, which we take care of. We just try to preserve everything we can find through people donating stuff to the museum, right down the history of the Quake County and all the settlers who were here.